you've obviously had a great bounce back personally with what's happened at, at Oldham in recent weeks, three wins from five, climbing the table. Um, what's changed or what's clicked? What's been the catalyst for this, you know, this great turn of form that has you guys uh, moving up the table? Or did you say it was always coming? It was just waiting for a bit of luck. No, I, look, I, I think we're, we're living in a, in a world where we get criticised straight away if we don't win our opening game. You know, people are going, well, it's not going to work. I think a lot of people forget, you know, when I first walked into the club, I had eight players. So my first priority was to get a squad. Now, the, the squad itself, uh, I've, I've attracted some good players, um, some, some, some wonderful players, I should say. And then it's about, once you've established that, it's about getting the cohesion run. It's about getting the ideas of what you want to write because a lot of these players hadn't played since February. A lot of these players weren't at clubs. So again, it's about getting them back into match fitness, about getting into a style, about getting them used to playing again, getting them into the way that I wanted to work. So it, it, it takes time. Now we're, we're far from finished product. There's such a long way to go. But the thing is, I, I'm seeing slow progression. You know, we, we'll, we'll go on a, uh, we'll win one, we'll lose one, we'll win two, we may lose one. We have these little speed bumps. Um, we're very unlucky the other night, um, but you take the good with the bad, and then you just roll on. We have a wonderful challenge on the weekend. Uh, we play Newport County, who will sit the top of the league. Fantastic team um, down their area. So for us, it's 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 a great challenge to to get out there. And you know, Oldham is a, a huge club. It's one of the founding members of the Premier League. And if I'm able to to bring a bit of joy to a lot of these fans who have have been hurt over the years because they've progressively gone down. And I think this club is crying out for a little bit of, st bit of stability. And if I can provide that, it'd be excellent. Your, your own accord you drew in the week, a workaholic. So what's, a, what's a day in the life of uh, Kiel the coach looks like, look like to get you ready for training and then the matches? Like, like probably every other manager, I have my ideas, I have my style, I have my ways. Um, I'm very secretive. I have to tell you the truth. I don't like... Um, I don't know why people share ideas. There's enough cameras and enough footage now of people watching you and all that. So why should you give them anything more? I, I enjoy working on the training ground. That's my office. I could spend all day there uh, as long as the, the players are enjoying it. I like to test players every day. I don't like to sit players to come in there and it's standard. I like to make them think. They are human beings. They, they, they're not robots. You know, they have to have a mind in themselves. And, and when you do step out on the pitch, you have to be able to make your own decisions. Yes, I can guide you in certain areas, but at the end, you've got, ultimately, you've got to make that decision and hopefully it's the right one. If not, you're off. What about uh, in terms of challenges for young players and opportunity, George Blackwood, how's he going? Uh, it's a good level for a, a young Australian to, to earn their stripes. I think it's, uh, I think it's a great level. Um, I, I personally love this level because I think you can see a lot of the progression and a lot of the, the work that you put in, especially at the start of the season, towards the end, you start to see players improving. And, 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 I, and, I, love, and I love seeing it. That's why you caught a coach. Um, the challenge for George is, is he's come from a, 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 a nice league. And when I say a nice league, it's, it's, it is a nice league. You're, you're coming over here to where it's, it's you run, you tackle, you fight before you pass the ball. You know, you, you don't do that and you learn to jump and you learn to head, you know, and then you learn to tackle again and then you fight again. And then that's what you've got to learn first and foremost before you even pass the ball. So that's something that he's learning. Um, and it's, a, like I said, it's, it's a great challenge for him. And I, I, I think he's, he's, he's enjoying it. Um, he's had a little bit of um, misfortune uh, with a few injuries. But we'll get him through that because I have a wonderful medical system over here. And I think we will be seeing the best of George very soon. That's brilliant to hear. That's fantastic to hear from an Australian perspective. Harry, I just want to ask you about one of your mentors. Obviously, a very sad week for football this week with Gerard Julier's passing. Um, you had some very kind words to say about him on social media through the week. Um, can you tell us a little bit about his influence on you and the man that he was? Well, I mean, the whole saga about me going to the clubs of wherever I wanted to go, which was, 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 was an amazing feeling. And I met Jared Julio. The first time I met Jared Julio was in France. 
Um, and he sat me down because he wanted me to come to his club. He wanted me to play for his club. And the, the one, like, there, there's, there's a lot of things you could say. I mean, the way he talked football was phenomenal. It made me feel like I was like, wow, it's pretty awesome. But the most important thing he was, he was, he was, he, he, he wanted to know me. You know, he wanted to know me as a person, not the, not the footballer, for me. And that's the thing that I don't think you get in a lot of managers because unfortunately we, we are ruthless. We are, it's about a business and we don't have time to sit down and, and genuinely know. But he was one of these people that genuinely cared about you. And that's what made me, well, that's what made me sign for, for Liverpool because once I spoke to him, I said, I give you my word, I'll sign for you because he was just at that top end. You know, his, his ideas in football were, f were fantastic. It, and like I said, it, it breaks my heart when I, I read the news um, that he was so young. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just a sad day. It, w it was a sad day. I, you know, I wasn't myself and I, none of my other players would have been, would have been ourselves. And uh, it's just such a shame. It does sound like he was an amazing man as well as a mentor and, and the football aspect was, was one part of it, but it, it just sounds like he was an, an incredible person to have as your boss. Yeah, oh, like I said, he, he, he was. He transformed, like you said, I mean, what he had done to Liverpool before I arrived was put them back on the map. And then he was adding people uh, left, and, and left, left, right and centre. And like I said, he's the main reason. I mean, I loved Liverpool, right? But there was, there was other clubs after me and I spoke to other managers. But he's the main reason that I went to Liverpool because the way he spoke about football, but like I said, the way he spoke about me as a person was, was, was second to none. Is there a lot of him or some of him in terms of what he influenced you on that has uh, formed your philosophy and approach to management yourself? <sighs> no. Uh, and, I, and, 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 I take it, and I take that away from all the, the managers that I've had when people say, oh, do you take any ideas of what they do? Uh, you may take a drill, but like I said, as a player, I wanted to be identified as myself and I want it to be known for what I do. So I have, my, my brain ticks over all the time. Uh, I, I come up with my own ideas, I come up with my own style, I come up with my own drills, and I enjoy that. And I, I think that's the, the, the fascinating thing. And I think if you wanna make a difference, you have gotta bring something different. Listening to you talking about often talking as a player, how you could influence a game and, and, and the way you want to create yourself as a manager. How do you deal with pressure or stress? What, what do you do to, when you can't go out and, and influence things yourself on the pitch? What are techniques have you learned to, to use to, to deal with pressure in this furnace of, of management? Oh, that's easy. I just have a go at the fourth official. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> no I, I, I do have a go at the fourth official. I'm non-stop. Works every time. I'm non-stop. I mean, unfortunately, that's what they're there for. You know, they, they, they say they're, they're there to help, but no, they're, they're just there to get, you know, a lot of yelling and, and abuse of us. Uh, and, and I take my hat off to them because it is a hard job, especially with me. And, they, and even when I was seeing Jurgen Klopp there tonight, he was yelling at them. Um, but no, I, I, I sit there and, and I watch and I see what I can do to improve. I see, I mean, a lot of it comes down to uh, the first goal. Because if you score the first goal, you're kind of controlling the game. Then you're waiting for the opposition to, to make, a, make a change or make a difference. And then do you need to match it up? Or are you safe in the way that you are? Um, but if you do go a goal down, you know, you want to get back into it, you know. Do you have to change something? Do you see that you're getting chances? So again, it's it's a waiting game. It's it's a it's a game that you've got to see maybe three or four moves ahead, um, and then you know it also involves I have to say luck. You know you've got to get that little ball that that you know that little bag of air that's got to go on that net. That's the that's the most important thing. I mean, just the, like I say the other night, we hit the bar I think three or four times, and it just didn't go in. And you know on the other days it does go in. <laughs>